Hi Leo, welcome to your bonus reading for the month of January. This is Miriam, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Leo, this is a new series I'm introducing to the channel. I am now doing monthly bonus readings for every sign, love, life, and advice. So if you're familiar with my channel, you knew I was doing for a time there the weekly element readings, which was love, life, and advice, but I decided to turn that into a monthly bonus for each individual sign. So it'll be the same sort of reading, but each sign will have their own individual reading. And I thought this would be better and you would enjoy it more. So please leave me a comment below how you like this. And uh, let's see what we have for you, Leo, at this time. At this time for Leo. Welcome in, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're having a great new year. So January bonus reading for Leo. Love, life, and advice. Let's see what's going on. What do we get for the bonus reading for Leo? This is for Sun, Moon, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, or Venus. If you have any of those placements in your chart. And uh, please only take what resonates. Every message may not be for every person. And um, this may be past, present, future energy. Please keep in, that in mind. Could be, could be just messages you need to hear at this time. May not exactly come into fruition in the month of January. So please keep that in mind. Also, and you can check the description box below, tons of information down there, uh, how to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, if you'd like to tip or donate or send a gift, all that is below in the description box. Okay. And I'll also pin a lot of the, pin a lot of the information in the top of the comments also. Okay. For Leo. Wow. Okay. So we have 11 here. Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. So we have 11 and that is two. And 11 is a very spiritual uh, number, being on the right path, going in the right direction, being spiritually led in the right direction. So some of you need to know you are stronger than you realize here. And that 11, two is also two, unity. People coming into unity in some way. So let's see here we have, the only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back, shift your focus from the problem back to love. So, and we have seven, again, seven is a very spiritually divine number. So, something meant to be here with the seven. Hmm. So we'll see what that means. So, some need to realize that if there was a problem, I think this could be a very strong connection between you and another person. There's been some problems uh, along the way that you can overcome these problems. I think your bond and your love is stronger than any problems that you come across. And to shift your focus from those problems, whether they're minuscule or whatever, um, shifting them away from all, if it's petty little stuff, getting out of that energy and just focus on the love between you. Okay. So let's see what's going on in life for you. We're going to clarify with the tarot. So we'll get more information with all these energies. All right. Quick shout out and thank you to everybody. All my new subscribers, those who have tipped, donate, sent it a gift, or have reached out for personal reading. Any way you're supporting me in the channel. It's truly, truly appreciate it. Couldn't do it without you guys. Just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So let's see what's going on in, oh, that's too many. Okay, that one. So we have Knight of Ariel, trustworthy, understanding, devoted, funny. There is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan being watched over by someone kind. Someone may be watching you. This is the Knight of Pentacles energy. So, I mean, it could be about career, finance, or work, or something like that, making, you know, a very devoted, dedicated effort moving forward, maybe a very slow, slow progress process. You may be on a new journey in your career or something like that. And it may be a very, like I said, slow, steady progress journey. But somebody may be watching you. It could be somebody at work or somebody that has interest in you, maybe watching you on social media or something like that. Hmm. Somebody is watching over you. And then we have four of Gabriel, time for a celebration, abundant rewards for hard work, release yourself from burdensome situations. So this is the four of wands energy. So this is always my twin flame card. You could be watch, being watched over by your twin flame on social media. 
Hmm. But the four Gabriel four of wands always speaks about um, celebrations, commitments, marriages, ceremonies, um, a very stable home life between you and your person if you are together. Maybe your person is watching over you while you are moving forward in some sort of new direction. Have to, could have to do with career. You know, maybe you're going back to school. Maybe you're um, just learning a new job, taking, you know, maybe going down a whole new path for yourself. And your person is really uh, supporting you, watching over you, helping you on your journey. Could be some times of celebration also. Hmm, that's a nice energy. Okay. And I did get over here when we got this, when we got 11, I was going to say, you know, that's half of the twin flame number. And then my twin flame card comes up to see 11, 11. So <laughs> I didn't say it. And, and whenever I, I spirit tells me something and I don't say it, they give me the card and I have to say it. So uh, yes, I know spirit. I need to say whatever you tell me. And a lot of times I hold back and then they're like, okay, well, we're just going to give you the card and then you're going to have to say it. So <laughs> alrighty then. So let's see what Spirit's advice is for you. What is the divine advice for you? The universal advice for you, Leo. This bonus reading. This bonus reading. If, Leo, you're new and you like my energy, my style, how I read, please check out my channel. I do consider all my readings timeless, so you can go back, watch past readings, regardless of the date, if something resonates for you. And uh, if you like what you see, please, you know, subscribe if you like to. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. Comment, like, share, love to read the comments. And if you do, thank you, thank you. So let's see what your advice is here. We have Yamanya, golden opportunity. Important doors are opening for you and right now. Walk through them. I feel like you're walking through a new opportunity, a new door. And Spirit wants you to know to take that opportunity. I think right here you are with the Knight of Ariel, making a slow, dedicated effort of finally walking through that door. And we have Bridget, don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right so telling you not to back down from this to take this golden opportunity to walk through that door i feel like a fire passion has been ignited within you so moving forward uh very passionately and a new opportunity which is a golden opportunity hmm. all right so let's see let's clarify all this energy for you leo for this bonus reading for january spirit please thank you so much so if there was anything that you didn't connect with with any of your monthly readings maybe something here will like i said this may or may not be for every single person only take the messages that resonate every message may not be for you so please keep that in mind all right so let's see here you can be male or female watching this it doesn't matter Nine of Rods. So this is fighting on, going on, uh, being the wounded warrior, the battered soldier. But if you need to stand up and fight for it, you will. And then we have the Eight of Rods. So we have the Eight and Nine of Rods here. So this is fiery, passionate communication, taking act, fiery, passionate action, Cupid's arrows. Someone wants to fight, send out communication and fight for this. All right. The Empress. So this could be the birth of something new. This could be a new connection. For some of you, I know I said some of you, um, if you are partnered up and um, I know you've been through the ringer here, there have been, you know, some tough moments. This is saying to, you know, you can still have that fiery, passionate movement forward communication. Birthing of like a new way in this relationship. Could also be a mother. Some of you could be um, a mother or be, you know, if, if you're the male, then maybe your person is a mother of your children. All right. Let's see here. Four of Swords. Yeah, needing to heal and rest, rejuvenate, recuperate, uh, think, contemplate. So, yeah, I feel like that Eight of Rods can be fiery, passionate communication, but it also could be, you know, very fiery, passionate exchanges between the two of you. And then maybe you need to like go off and like rest, <laughs> take a break from one another. Yeah, seven rods. So this is like standing your guard, uh, being defensive. I feel like maybe, you know, maybe you're defensive towards one another. Sometimes it gets very heated, fiery between the two of you. 
kind of energy, like being on guard and always ready like to stand up and fight for some reason. But I mean, the Empress is here. King of Cups. So there definitely is love and emotions here between the two of you. King or Queen doesn't matter. But I feel like you need to take a mature um, mature way of dealing with this energy between the two of you. I feel like it's a strong connection, loving connection, soulmate connection. Bond could be a possible twin flame, but for some reason there's a lot of on guard defensive energy uh, constantly bickering. Maybe it gets very heated and tense between the two of you. Then you have to like go in your own separate ways, kind of like to like just recover and like rejuvenate from the whole thing. Some of you, you know, could be with the mother of your children or you are the mother. But definitely here, you know, needing to be more mature in this situation here. Being in a more loving, compassionate, peaceful energy between the two of you. Having the strength to not give in to the small petty things and just realize the loving connection between the two of you. If this is something new for some of you, if it's not... Um, a long-term connection here, then I feel like there is a connection here where there are love and emotions, but again, people need to be more mature. I feel like, you know, somebody could be blocking the other one. They don't want to admit um, their feelings, so they kind of keep to themselves with the Four of Swords energy, but the Empress is here to give birth to something new, so this could be a new connection for some. And, you know, that is taking action with the Eight of Wands, fiery, passionate action, communication, Cupid's arrows, but somebody is blocking that energy and not sending forth that communication. They, I think they might have been through a lot and they're just not ready yet to do that because they st still feel like that wounded warrior. But the King of Cups here is to say, yes, there's still, there is some sort of emotions there. Okay, so... Somebody needs to realize that uh, love is love and they need to find their inner strength to realize that, you know, don't let past blockages hold you back from real love or someone you're dealing with. Okay, so the Knight of Ariel and the Four of Gabriel. So we got the Queen of Pentacles. So again, some of you here could be taking on a new position, could be a promotion, could be now you know, a supervisor, a boss, a CEO, something like that, you know, being very secure, stable and grounded now and moving forward with a lot of balance, drive, ambition, success, victory, being very stable and grounded. Pentacles is all about um, career, monetary energy. Nine of cups, so wish fulfillment, wishes dreams coming true in every way. Magician manifesting this brand new beginning, moving forward. Temperance, so balance, peace, harmony, patience. Very balanced energy, moving forward. So we have two cards of balance with chariot and temperance. Having patience as you're manifesting this new beginning, moving forward, so wish dream come true, being very stable and grounded. And look at that, the four of wands on the four of wands. Wow. So definitely could some of you... Uh, could definitely be with a twin flame here that's supporting you every step of the way. Um, having a lot of, now a lot of security and balance and structure in your home life. If, if you're already with your person or if you're not, um, they could be watching you from afar and saying, wow, this is, look at my, this person go after their dreams, getting what they want, manifesting something new being very balanced and successful moving forward and seeing you in that stable energy like an empress saying, wow, this person is like my wish dream come true. So that's however that resonates for you. All right, so let's see what this golden opportunity and don't back down is for you, Leo, in this bonus reading. So we have the Eight of Cups and the Moon. So yeah, this is telling you to, you know, walk away from things that are not fulfilling for you and walk towards something that is more fulfilling for you and it's this golden opportunity and not to back down. Even though you may not see the way, the path clearly with the moon energy, it will all come to light eventually and you will have this golden opportunity and you will have success and victory here. 
Don't be afraid of things that you cannot see. That's too many. What else? Five of Pentacles. So yeah, I feel like some of you may fear, what if this doesn't work out? What if I have monetary loss? What if I don't make enough money? What if, you know, then I'm without a job or something like that? Some of you may be afraid to walk towards this opportunity and take it. But though I feel like over here, some of you are. So, but this is telling you not to worry about how things will turn out in the end, not to worry about having monetary loss or losing this opportunity or losing this uh, moving forward. Because there's exciting news coming in here. See, offer coming in, good news, exciting news, new project, endeavor, proposal, offer. And there's your fiery, passionate, brand new beginning. And it could be entrepreneur energy. It could be a new job. It could be um, an exciting, new, I creative idea that you're going after here. And Spirit's saying, take this as a golden opportunity. It's divinely guided and don't back down because you have the fire within you and the rods is fire. And that's that divinely guided brand new beginning of that fiery, passionate energy. And you're stressing out about it. Stress, worry, fear, anxiety. And Spirit wants you to say that energy is here for you. It's coming in for you not to have fear, worry, stress, anxiety about things you can't see and loss. Not to fear that, to go after this golden opportunity with Ace of Rods. Wow. So on the bottom of the deck, see, working. Working hard at your new craft, mastering something new. The Eight of Pentacles, putting in the dedicated effort in the hard work. Laying down burdens, ending cycles no longer serving you. Uh, getting out of something here that you don't really want to be in. So making decisions. And again, working at mastering something new, closing out chapters, starting something new with the world energy. Because this is fair and just and balance, something meant for you, getting justice in your life, closing out a chapter, starting a new chapter, working on it here, making those decisions to get away and ending something no longer serving you, laying down that burden and now working and mastering something new in your life. Wow, Leo. Okay. So I hope this resonated for you and leave me a comment below how you like these bonus monthly bonus. Uh, monthly bonus readings so best of luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel is to always always shine your light